Welcome back to Michelle's Life. My name is Michelle and I'm not sure why I did my intro that way but I'm losing my voice and this is the third video that I'm filming right now and it's the third time I'm filming it. <sighs> Breaking news. Sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled video but this is relevant to the video that you are currently watching. I recently found out that in the month of October there's going to be a very exciting Read readathon um, called Own Voices October. The readathon is hosted by by Katie from Katie Loves to Read, and I'm not sure what her name is, but her channel name is Books with Wings. These two ladies have organized this readathon, and the main goal is just to continue pretty much the diversathon that happened last month. But they're going to be making it a month long, just so people become more aware of what Own Voices is and gives the Own Voices community more spotlight. But Own Voices is a hashtag that was used to promote Own Voice authors. And by Own Voices, what that means is it's authors that are writing about their personal experiences as marginalized people. So queer authors writing queer stories or, or other marginalized people of color writing their stories um, and speaking up and just letting their stories be told. So obviously this is very important to support and honestly I think it's very eye-opening. I think it's really interesting and important to read own voice stories and I've actually featured two authors on my channel that are own voice authors. Both are published by Harmony Inc. Press. Calista Lynn wrote an own voice story this year called Reawaken and it features an asexual protagonist and she's writing as an asexual author and then also Julia Ember I recently interviewed her book Unicorn Tracks features an FF relationship and she is a polyamorous author so that again is also own voices and um so yeah I highly support own voices and I've already filmed this video as you can see so I'm inserting this in to this video to just promote Own Voices and to tell you that I do have three books on my TBR that are Own Voices. I have Robin Talley's As I Descended because she is a lesbian author and her story features an FF relationship and Behold the Dreamers is an Own Voices story. It's um, about an African man and his family coming over to the States and just dealing with the immigration process. And then Homegoing is also an Own Voices story written by an African author as well about slavery and multi-generational um, impacts of what, of what that did to her family um, as a slave owner's wife and also as a slave. Those are my three Own Voices books this month. There is no limit to the number of Own Voices uh, books that you are required to read for the month of Own Voices October, but they do want you to try to read at least one So I'm glad that I'll be reading three and I'm really looking forward to all three of these So I hope you participate as well getting back to your regularly scheduled program Now so I'm sorry about the location um, I've mentioned that in the other videos, so I'm done apologizing But you guys are here to see what I'm going to be reading in the month of October Welcome to October, right? When did we get to October? Wasn't it just, wasn't it just my daughter's first birthday? I'm almost gonna, Oh, she's almost two, but I am excited. We're gonna go trick-or-treating for the first time and I did want her to be Matilda and I was gonna be Miss Honey, but my daughter has a slight obsession with Ella, AKA Cinderella. Everything is Ella this, Ella that. So unfortunately, I think she's going to be Cinderella for Halloween, but I'll let her have it. I'll let her have it. It's a little cliche, but it is what it is. Anyway, the books that I plan to read for October include As I Descended by Robin Talley. This is the arc or proof of this book. I wanted to read the arc first before buying the book because I've been burned in the past by auto by authors. So my friend Kayla Rain sent it over to me. And I look forward to reading it. This is a Macbeth retelling featuring an FF relationship as well as an MM relationship. And it takes place in a boarding school. Enough said. Enough said. Plus, it's Robin Talley. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely loved the lies we tell ourselves. I even did a giveaway because I wanted to buy the book and getting a book. And Anyway, I absolutely loved 
that book. I've heard negative things about What We Left Behind, so I haven't picked that one up. But I've heard amazing things about this one, so I'm really looking forward to reading it. Let me know down below if you've read this book or if you're interested in me filming a review for it. It might be possible, we'll see. But uh, it will definitely be read in the month of October because it has those spooky elements that I'm, I'm really feeling for the month of October. The next book that I will definitely be reading in October is Homegoing by Ya Gaisi. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Um, I will be buddy reading this with my friend Michelle from her channel Mishmash and I've heard nothing but phenomenal things about this book. I did read a review that was really well written by... I can't think of his name right now but I'm pretty sure his blog is Read Diverse Books or Reads... I'm not sure but I'll link it down below if you want to go check it out. Um, and we wanted, we didn't want to pay the full price for the hardcover, so we bought the softcover UK editions, and look how gorgeous this book is! I'm so excited to read it. I'm so excited. Um, I can read you the back if you want me to. Um, she worked in the field. It was not new to her. In hell, she worked the land too. In hell, the sun scorched cotton, so hot it almost burned the palms of your hands to touch it. Holding those small white puffs almost felt like holding fire, but God forbid you let one drop. Afia and Essie, two sisters with two very different destinies, one sold into slavery, one a slave trader's wife. The consequences of their fates reverberate through the generations that follow. That's what I remember about the story. It is a multi-generational story, and I love multi-generational stories. And the back with the cotton, oh, it's also pretty. So I'm really excited to get to this one. I've heard that it's really easy to get into and to, and just to get sucked into, so I'm, I'm excited. Oh. This month I will also be finishing Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore. I got about 43% of the way through via audiobook last month, and so I'm hoping to finish that this month. It's about a guy who loses his job just due to the economy, and he winds up uh, as a last-ditch effort working for this 24-hour bookstore, but there's something mysterious going on in this bookstore, and he tries to figure it out, and it's like way deeper than he ever thought he'd have to go in order to find out what's going on and it's really enjoyable so far. I would say it's... I, I don't think it's a book lover's book as it was advertised to me. It's It mentions a lot of like computer and techie coding stuff throughout it so it feels more like that audience but we'll see maybe the last 50% is more about like book lovers. We'll see. And then I will also be reading the third and final book in the Trial by Fire series. I'm not sure, but it is called Witch's Pyre and it's by Josephine Angelini. <sighs> if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I adore Trial by Fire. It is so good. Um, so I'm really excited to read the third book. Uh, I can't really tell you too much about what the third book is, but I'll tell you the first book is about parallel worlds, but it's done correctly. Thank you, passenger. Or a thousand pieces of you. Those books were horrible. Anyway. Enough about that trash, let's talk about this book, which is amazing. Um, so Lily is in modern day Salem, and she's very sickly, and uh, she is contacted in her head by a lady named Lillian, who sounds just like her, and one day she has a terrible experience and agrees to this voice in her head that she's ready to leave and she is transported to an alternate Salem where witches are real and their witching power exists through a heart stone? I can't, I can't think of what the stone is called but um, they draw their power through heat and stuff and just the whole magical system is really really cool and I like the, the play on alternate reality where there's magic and the real world where there isn't. I think it's, it's a really cool dynamic and like I said, the magic system is good. I really like the characters. It's a really great series. If you've wanted to read about witches or a unique magic system, I definitely recommend picking it up. One flaw though is, is that the chapters are really long. They are not those short digestible chapters. They're really long, so just be aware. And then the last book that I want to get to this month is I want to finish Behold the Dreamers by Mbolo Mwembu? Mwembu? <laughs> Uh, again, terrible with last names. This one I picked up via NetGalley and I was so thankful because this book sounds so good and it is. I already started it in September 
and I'm really enjoying it. It's really digestible. It's really fluid. It's almost just like it takes you out of your seat and brings you through this experience that I can't remember what his name is. It just brings you into the experience of this man who came over from Cameroon in Africa and he's trying to make a life in New York and trying to work through immigration and trying to bring his family over and he does in the beginning of the book his family has come over and they're working to make a life in New York and you get to see what that means um, working through immigration and everything and all the twists and turns and how difficult it is and how difficult it is to get a job and all the microaggressions that he has to face like oh well I've heard about this place in Africa even though it has nothing to do with where he's from and just like rude comments and it definitely I think helps me rethink some of my thought processes and I'm really looking forward to finishing it. If you would like a review um, I, I may be able to do it. For now if you want a really good review I would definitely go check out Joss's from Sc Scribble Reads review. She recently posted it on her channel and just like all of her reviews it was phenomenal so I'll link that down below if you want to go check it out but I'm really looking forward to finishing that this month and hopefully reading all of the other books as well. <laughs> we'll see. It's a, it's a pretty decent sized list. The first time I filmed this it was only four books and now it's not but at least I remembered to put them all in this time. What? what? <sighs> I need a nap guys. I need a nap something fierce. Anyway, that's it for this TBR video. Let me know what you plan to read down below and uh, or if you've read any of these books and you want to talk about them or you want me to review any of them for you. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.